okay hello and welcome back to city skylines atlantis we are actually making slight progress in coming back from the disaster that uh hit us a few episodes ago uh guess what you guys are gonna be really proud of me i shut off my steam notifications for this oh wait we were enduring a crisis last time a massive population drop that is pro. Why every time I reload this game does everything freak out near these bridges? It must be because the bridges are just absolutely, like, broken. Oh, jeez, it's... Yeah, look at the bridge! The bridge all around the bridge just gets, like, all wavy, especially over here. Wow! The map is so triggered. I've got leaks going all over the place into the ocean now. Great. I'm not even going to worry about water flowing over there right now. One thing at a time. There is an issue. Shoot! Ah, the crazy waves are actually messing up my highway. What the heck, man? That's not cool. That's not cool at all, bro. I'm just going to refer to the game as bro now. Uh... Hey, City Skylines, man, you wanna be nice and not kill my city? That would be great, dude. It's now a Californian channel. That's what this is. There we go. And if I just raise this up just a wee bit, because right now we are having some serious issues when it comes to road flooding. Believe it or not, if you couldn't tell from the roads literally flooding on on video. Wow, I actually have, like, rescue helicopters coming over. This is some pretty serious stuff. Like, people are freaking out about this. Well, I mean, the main way to get into the city did kind of die. Um, wait, this is the way to get out. That's slightly worrying, because that means that... Even after I fix this, it's not going to be fixed, really. But I guess we're going to ignore that fact and just continue with our puny existence. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. This map is so broken. It's not designed for this much water. This game isn't designed for this much water. Like, I'm actually beginning to... Not only is the game starting to lag, like... You guys can't notice because this is recorded at 60 FPS, but I was getting 144 hertz. Now I'm getting like, uh, well, 144 FPS, and now I'm getting like, uh, let me check the counter. I'm getting 72 to 40, 30. Wow. Yeah. Taking a toll, and that's on the GTX 1080 Ti too. The water rendering is just really kicking my graphics card. Um, the death pit is dying. It is the end of the death pit. Is that where all the death is coming from? No. There's like five people who go there. That doesn't explain a huge section of the city dying. Jeez. My population is dropping just as quickly as it was going off. Oh, I found it! There is a broken road here! Oh, so I'm just stupid. Okay, got it. Well, I found it at least. Bam. Be proud of me, guys. I figured it out after, like, four episodes. Only took me, like, two hours of gameplay to figure that out. Good job. Wow. This is still freaking out so bad. Look at the waves left by the entire river. Holy moly, those are actually going to hit the... Oh! Oh, that's a bad. That is a bad. We're going to just move that up real slightly right there. There we go. We'll move these up too. Things are just getting really uh, worrying over here. It's okay though. I'm repairing slowly. Okay, so the move to this section of the city is going pretty well, if I can say so myself. However, the water level is getting so close, it may not even matter that I'm moving it up because I'm going to have to build more walls anyways. 
How are the flood systems go? Oh boy, there's so many that can be repaired. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't be complaining because it's like, yeah, my city is going to survive longer. But at the same time, that's a lot of clicking the button rebuild and that's a lot of effort. It is a whole lot of clicking the button rebuild. Gonna be honest here. It's not... It's not easy being a YouTuber. <laughs> Gotta click that rebuild button over and over and over. It's a lot of work. Honestly, I should have done Sanfu Priest Go today, but I'm too tired to do a face game video. I just look asleep. And this... series is pretty much keeping the channel alive at this... Nah, I'm joking. It is keeping it doing very well, though. I mean, we could survive without it, but not gonna... Not gonna pretend it's not our top performing series. It's definitely doing us some good. Good job, Atlantis. Proud of you. Can't wait until Atlantis 2, the electric boogaloo, because that version of the map is like 20 times more challenging. It will literally get you killed in like 5 minutes. It's pretty intense. It's like... I actually didn't m properly measure the amount of time it takes to die in it, so I made a mistake, which made the game way too hard, but I kept it that way, because, like, the challenge. Challenge is good. Okay, people are moving in. The death pit is... The death pit's a good way to measure how poorly things are going. And according to the death pit, we've got some issues. <laughs> we've got a lot of issues. I really wonder if they're the reason the population is dropping. Look at the flood trucks. The flood trucks are actually keeping the death pit alive. That's kind of funny. They're actually making an attempt to save the death pit. How many people live here? Yeah, a lot of people actually live here. But, I mean, people are surviving. I mean, there's a little bit of flooding, but not enough to, like, kill... I mean, that may be enough to, like, wipe you out into the sea... And, and drown you, but not death, you know, just, just, just drowning. I don't know where the clarification is, but we'll figure that out later. I'm also trying to focus on all the broken services, because if the land value gets too low, literally everyone will leave the city, and that would be pretty sad. You would need Alexa to play Despacito. Wow, she didn't respond at that time! Alexa, are you okay? Oh yeah, you are, shut up. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Oh, this is so sad. I'm sorry. I, 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 my relationship with Alexa is a little bit abusive. I'm gonna be honest. I tell her to shut up way too often. It's like my second most used phrase with her. But I find that telling her to shut up actually gets her to be quiet faster than just saying quiet. But that may just be my imagination. There we go, walls, slightly higher. We have like four million dollars, now we can invest in improvements. Yes, the word you all know and love. Improvements to the flood system. Do do do. Locking off more water is the way we survive. <laughs> Don't worry, that voice crack was 100% intentional and not at all embarrassing. Okay, uh, yes, very nice process here, just building a dirt wall. Very exciting stuff. And then, guess what else we do? We build a ditch. I know, also very good. And now we build a dirt wall again. <laughs> This is not repetitive at all. Why do you guys watch this series at this point? I'm gonna be honest. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell and like and subscribe, by the way. Yeah! Woo! I don't contradict myself ever, except for when I do. Get it? Because that itself is a contradiction. I know, I know. Comedic genius here. Spook Vooper. Nobody can handle the amount of comedic greatness coming out of this channel. But I promise if you stick around, you will learn all of the ways of the comedy. 
the comedy. And there we go. We did it, except it's overflowing. So might as well have not done it at all because the wall isn't actually tall enough to stop the water. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> raising walls, raising walls. Literally, trumpet. Sense I'll get demonetized if I say his name. Raising walls. <laughs> Jeez, it's really easy to game the algorithm, like, if you get demonetized, you're not even trying. Which I think is the point, though. Most people don't want to, like, have to try. They want to, like, rise up against the algorithm, you know? Show it that they won't change their content style just because some person at YouTube decided that that, 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 that kid-friendly content is their main focus now. Oh shoot, I've said about two sentences about this now. I can't say anymore or I'll get demonetized, so... Back to normal programming! Wait, no, this isn't programming. Neither is this a TV show, nor legitimate programming. This is simply watching me put down dirt in city skylines. The most exciting and calming process. It's like, people... I used to have this friend, and they had this little, like box thing it was tiny it was like six inches by six inches but it was just like a square plate full of sand there was like a little rake in it and you were supposed to like rake the sand and it was supposed to make you feel calm well that's what this game is now you know it's just messing around with terrain and a hope to you know calm your life and get a grip on everything that's definitely what this game was designed for. Oh my god, this still isn't tall enough. I am going to delete... ...everything. Just control A, delete. I wonder if control A does anything. Probably with the move it mod. Oh, road anarchy, no. It'd be funny if that selected everything, because if I selected every building and stuff in this, the game would just instantly crash at this point. There are a lot of things in this map. Stealing soil. Raising walls. Building up for the inevitable fall. Wow, the population is still dropping. Why? Oh my god, the water is really close to that bridge now. The water is really close to a lot of things now, to be honest. Like, I, I have a feeling the population is dropping because people are moving into the death... <gasps> the death pit's filling! Oh, this is so sad. I can't actually say the next line because she will get angry. But that's okay. The death pit. Look at it. It's trying to save us by absorbing all the water. It is actually buying us time. It is serving its purpose. The water death pit. You, you are renamed because of your service. You murder water. That is your purpose. Okay, we're just gonna raise this wall a little bit. And now, this should be tall enough. I'm just watching as both my population and income just slowly drops. And it is slightly... Oh, it went up for a second there. Uh, but it is actually worrying. Like, we're about to drop under 110,000. And why? We have plenty of housing. We have... We have... We have... Me. I I'm a part of the city. Everyone should be moving in. They want to talk to the great spook Rupert. <laughs> oh, I can't even take myself seriously anymore. Uh, there's at least one reason to move into Atlantis. If you like fishing, like, it would be really easy to make this a great fishing environment. Because if you threw some fish in, and then they just, like, made more fish, it's not like other people from other countries are going to come in and take your fish, like... 
You've got a pretty safe supply of fish and water here. Like, both of those resources, you're not going to run out of in Atlantis. Pretty great. Only issue is, of course, the fact that everything is literally dying around you and you probably have a max of two weeks to survive. But that's a nice two weeks and, you know, you can do a lot into it. Look at how much water we're stopping. Wow! That was actually a massive reduction in the water. This may actually be one of our biggest successes. This is actually taller than this. And since that's just going into the river, might as well rip down this barrier to give it an easier time in escaping. I mean, why not? Like, if you want to go into the water disposal area, I'm not going to stop you. That's okay by me. No flooding, right? No flooding. Very close to flooding, but no flooding. Cool, no flooding. Ooh, flooding! Ooh! We gotta move you. Very slightly. Right there. There we go. Perfect. You are gonna be flooding in a second too, my friend. Oh! Okay, everything is gonna be flooding in a second. We have to raise these walls. Okay, that's okay. Not worried at all. Oh, okay. Water is leaking into the water retention area. Hmm. Remember how I said that if that happened, it would be really bad and would signal the beginning of the end? Yeah, well, it's starting to happen, so... It's really bad, and it's actually signaling the beginning of the end. Uh, that means that I am not keeping up with the water at this point. It is now coming in, which is bad. I mean, I can raise this bridge to give us a little bit more of a wall here. That is definitely a temporary solution to the problem. Oh, there's some water over here, too. Yikes! Things are getting pretty bad. Um... Definitely going to want to... There's nothing down there, right? No. Definitely going to want to beef up the security over here a little bit. There we go. Make sure there's no cracks. Let's do a quick run through, rebuild all the essential infrastructure since that may be a reason people were leaving the city. Oh, we're about to drop under 110,000. That's horrible. The death pit is now full. That means the water is back to rising again. It stopped it for like 20 seconds, though. That was pretty impressive. You know? 20 seconds of life. That's that's basically, you know... You can't even, like... Like, put a number on that. Even though it is literally a number. Also, the cargo tra Oh. Yeah, that's a real nice cargo train you got there. Look at that. That's very useful. Great thing we fixed that. Um, so the bad news is that everything is falling apart. The good news is that it's all falling apart at a speed slow enough that I'm actually making massive gains. Like... This wall here is just one of the most successful things we've built so far. So if we can copy that over here and just block off even more of the water, we may actually have a chance. But that actually uh, depends on me doing something correctly and not messing it up. And not only does it depend on that, but it depends on the city not flooding before I get this done. And the sad part is I won't even be able to tell when the city is flooding because the population is just dropping anyways. That's not the... Oh, it's getting so close. At this point, I'm getting very nervous. Uh, the water level is getting... Uh, next episode, we're definitely going to be raising the walls again. We've done a lot of building up these this episode but i'm not sure how much longer we can do this and ignore the problems actually in the city like you know 
This the city, the thing that we're supposed to be protecting. The water is literally going in the wrong direction. It should be going down. Yet it's choosing to go up. Gravity is now broken. This is so sad. <laughs> um Einstein sheds a tear. Actually, that would be Newton, not Einstein. Yikes. Ah, oh, the death pit. This is actually pretty sad. It's the beginning of the end. And with that, I leave you guys. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I say this every time, but it really does help if you hit that notification bell. Um, don't forget to share the series with your friends, considering word of mouth is the most effective way to get people to join our cult. I mean, country. I mean, dictatorship. But, uh, nonetheless, I will see you all next time. Bye!